everyone, I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet. Welcome to my channel. Today we are doing bat wing eyeliner, but like not just basic bat wing eyeliner, but like Halloween bat wing eyeliner. This look is actually, I would say, if you were comfortable with your liquid eyeliner and comfortable doing like just a basic like cat wing, then you're golden. This is going to be super easy. If you're not exactly an expert at liquid eyeliner though, you could still do this look. It just might take a little bit more practice. So if you want to see how I got this bat wing eyeliner look, then just keep watching. So for starters, you're going to start with whatever the easiest liquid liner is for you to use. For me, it's the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I highly recommend more of like a pen or felt tip liner for something like this because you're going to do a lot of detail work. We're going to start by doing your wing liner like you normally would. I would definitely recommend doing each step on each eye instead of doing one whole eye and then do the other because you're probably going to want to even things out and it's easier to even things out as you go along as opposed to getting one eye perfect and then trying to emulate it on the other eye. Do each step so you get each step as even as you can and then it'll just be easier in the long run. The wing doesn't have to be perfect at this stage because we are going to tweak it. Don't be afraid to go really, go big, go big or go home. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to make a slope. I think I want to start like the middle of my eyeball and we're going to slope up. gonna drag the wing out so we're basically making the wing kind of like dramatically thicker and then extending it out and hitting the end of the wing Now, if you start the slope in relation to a part of your eye, it'll make it a little bit easier to match it on the other side. And remember, your eyeliner, in the, in the words of the infamous Dita Von Tees, remember your liner doesn't need to be, they don't need to be twins, they need to be sisters. So they should be coordinated, but they don't have to be exact. And check your eye when it's open and when it's closed so that you make sure that your liner looks even in both ways. This is actually traditionally what like a bat eye as opposed to a cat eye liner would look like. So you could definitely leave it like this. Or, this is the tricky part, you can go in and we're gonna add a little like tips to the wings. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make little downward V's. If you're really skilled at this, you can go like bigger to smaller, which I think I kind of did accidentally, but I don't know if I'll be able to match it on this side. Or you can go kind of all the same length. Hey, you know what? It's your aligner. You do what you want. And the key is like I have like three over here. I'm going to try to space it out so I have like about three on the other side. I actually got them a lot bigger over here. So I'm gonna go back into this side and just see if I can get them a little bit bigger. And there you go. Now I'm just gonna add some mascara and they'll be done. And here's the look right here. I did very basic makeup. I have a little bit of highlight, a little bit of contour, but you could go as highlighted or contour as you want. You could make your skin lighter as a base and get that more like vampire look, maybe with red lips. I threw on purple, but you know what? You could do whatever. This eyeliner look is super versatile. I would recommend not doing too much to your eyeshadow because 
it's just not necessary. You're gonna cover most of your lid up with the eyeliner anyway, so don't go crazy with the eyeshadows and stuff like that. I think this would be a great look if you wanna just rush off to a Halloween party, maybe say after work, because you just have like your basic makeup on. You just brighten up the lip and you just draw on this liner real quick and then you are good to go. If you enjoy this tutorial, please give it a big thumbs up and be sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I want to hear what you are going to do for Halloween, like what your plans are, what you're going to dress up as. I want to know, so leave that in the comment section below. You can follow me on all my social media channels. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you join me next time.